infraorbital artery. 10 questions and answers. Is the infraorbital artery a branch of the maxillary artery? Yes, the infraorbital artery is a branch of the maxillary artery. Is the infraorbital artery a branch of the third portion of the maxillary artery? Yes, the infraorbital artery is a branch of the third portion of the maxillary artery. Is the infraorbital artery a branch of the pterygopalatine portion of the maxillary artery? Yes, the infraorbital artery is a branch of the pterygopalatine portion of the maxillary artery. Does the infraorbital artery travel through the infraorbital foramen? Yes, the infraorbital artery travels through the infraorbital foramen. Does the infraorbital artery give off the anterior superior alveolar artery? Yes, the infraorbital artery gives off the anterior superior alveolar artery. Does the anterior superior alveolar artery, which is given off by the infraorbital artery, supply the anterior teeth? and the anterior part of the maxillary sinus? Yes, the anterior superior alveolar artery, which is given off by the infraorbital artery, supplies the anterior teeth and the anterior part of the maxillary sinus. Does the infraorbital artery emerge from the canal after entering through the infraorbital foramen? Yes, the infraorbital artery emerges from the canal after entering through the infraorbital foramen. After exiting the infraorbital canal, the infraorbital artery supplies which structures? The infraorbital artery emerges from the canal and supplies the upper lip, lower eyelid, and lateral aspect of the nose. Does the infraorbital artery anastomose with other arteries? Yes, the infraorbital artery anastomoses with other arteries. The infraorbital artery anastomoses with other arteries. Name them. The infraorbital artery anastomoses with the transverse facial artery, buccal arteries, branches of the ophthalmic artery, and branches of the facial artery.